The cold wind is causing trouble for the island of Sodor. Frozen Point is one of them, and the workmen had just gained tired of mending the frozen points. They are all sat in the side sat at the water tower to take a break. Meanwhile, Gordon Gordon was just be, just uh, released from his punishment, was trapped along with Toby in the siding. The Earlier, when the workmen tried to free the points, they couldn't. Toby Toby was worried. He had to take he had to take a break for that special and to take some enthusiasm to an old line that he used to work there years ago. But now the rail is going to be torn apart and, it, and the rails are going to be re relocated towards the museum. And soon a while later, Thomas pulled up. Is everything okay? He asked. I need to leave soon with my train. What is the train all about? Asked the two engines. Well, said Toby. I work at the I work at a place in the harbor, and it's right next to the right next to the old quarry line. I busily bustling and pulling trains at Epic to keep up with the command. I work so hard that I never never have once moved the workers too much. Unfortunately, one day I, I the workload was too much over the recent coming days. I was no longer needed, and to make things even more worse, a bigger tank engine take over my place. I didn't feel happy. I thought that I would be scrapped after this, and I knew a few of my brothers were scrapped. Luckily, the war, the first, the war saved me. The, the, the main line needs many tank engines as quick as possible to help with the heavy, heavy workload, and I was the, I was one of the cheapest options to spare. And is that and that's how I came to work at East Anglia after the war. Wow, that was amazing," said Thomas. "Yes, then they chose me for the they chose me to pick up the train, to do the train because I know the line very well. Huh? That you think so? I can I can pull your your train any day. Well, it's not just any ordinary train." The train I'll be taking is will be the brake vans. They are very difficult to handle. Even though you pulled brake vans before, but some if you are doing a brake van special, you have to learn more experience. Huh? I know everything about you. I don't need orders around. Don't listen to him. He's always grumbling, complaining as usual. Yeah, said Toby. Soon the workmen, soon the workmen are getting ready. To so the workmen are getting ready to get ready to uh, free the points. And this, as by the time they left, the fat control came up. Toby, your train is ready, but you but it won't be too late to pick up the brake van. So Gordon had to do it. Me said Gordon. But why can't Thomas do it? He's not doing anything. Thomas is pulling another train for a moment. You have you are the only one available to do it. <sighs> okay, sir. <laughs> Good luck, good luck, Gordon. He said, Thomas, and he puffed away. Oh, shut up. Come on. He said, Now then, I better be off. Soon, soon Toby left, along with Gordon. Gordon soon arrived at the yard to collect the brake friends. He bumped them very hard, crossly. Come along, come along. Ouch, ouch, they grumped, they said. We don't like to bring bomb around by this big buffoon here. Don't listen, don't listen," said one, said one of them. "I know this guy for a long time. Let's just teach him a lesson for being rude." And they all began began to agree. But Gordon didn't know about this. Gordon shunted the last of the brake vans into place, then he puffed away toward, towards the other side of the island. Soon Toby, soon Toby arrived at his uh, spot the where the old line used to be. He knew the line for many, many years and was glad to see his final farewell. Until then, it was about time that, that the museum had bought it and turned it in, and turned the tear apart the line into and rerouted to the museum. Soon, Henry and the and the, and the visitor arrived at, arrived at the site. But they bring the tourist group arrive. The tourist group began to crowd it around the two engines and Toby. Until then, they heard a sound for a big, blue, big long whistle. They look a shape in the distance. 
when they noticed that of course it was Gordon. As as Gordon began to approach them, approach it, approach them, the brake van began slipping their brakes on, coupling with the frosty rails. Gordon was sliding to a halt. People started taking pictures. Gordon became very embarrassed, and the engines could not help but laughed. Fortunately, Gordon had given up of pulling the brake vans, and quickly the guard went to every brake van to turn their brakes off. Toby said nothing as he quickly helped to pull Gordon away. Quickly, Toby parked Gordon to the siding, and Toby took the train along with the tourists down the, down the old line. Henry and the and, and the visitor had seen had heard everything, and quickly ran down the line, ran back to the sheds to tell the other engines. Gordon said nothing, and he quickly set off back home. Toby enjoyed the journey. He had known all the route places and knows how how the stops, and he even told the tourists about the, about the place. Sadly, it was the time. Sadly, the time was over, and everyone everyone said a final farewell to the old line, and Toby took them back home. Soon, Gordon arrived back at the sh back at the sheds very late. He was trapped by trapped by a broken signal. The engines had heard about the incident, all making a joke about it. And he, one of them, said, "You know, sometimes brake vans can make a bunch of nuisance if you're not experienced with them." They said, and they and Toby agreed with them. But Gordon remained expectantly silent. He hoped that he should learn more often about brake vans.